Shocking act in the southern tier leaves this young pup hurting. And now the surgery she needs could put the animal shelter caring for her in dire financial straits. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusak explains, neighbors are answering the call for help. Lisa Hitchcock's home is filled with dogs from big four weeks to four little weeks. Yep. to have a house full of creatures that just love you all the time. That's all they have to give is love. Come here, you guys. Come here. She runs rescue pups from her house in friendship, including the puppies. Yeah. 19. She did have 20. This is Clooney. On Sunday, she was in the yard. First, I heard the pop and I thought it was a gunshot and then I heard her scream. Clooney's leg was snapped. She had been hit by an arrow. State police say Hitchcock's neighbor shot the one-year-old hound mix with a crossbow. Out of all the dogs we've had here, she has to be the sweetest one we've ever had. Clooney needs emergency surgery, an expensive procedure upwards of $10,000. It's money the rescue doesn't have. Hitchcock turned to Facebook. Thousands poured into a GoFundMe site meant the world to us, meant that we could keep our doors open here. Clooney is set up for surgery in Orchard Park on Tuesday. She'll need weeks to heal. But once she's healthy, just like the other 19 pups here in Friendship, she'll be ready for adoption. It was an arrow that nearly bankrupted a rescue. But thanks to the people that donated, rescue pups will be able to keep helping dogs for a long time to come. In Friendship, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Jeff. Well, we have a link to the GoFundMe set up for Clooney on our website and mobile app. In just one day, it's raised nearly 70% of its $10,000 goal. As for the man accused of shooting Clooney, Marvin Boncor. He's charged with aggravated animal cruelty and reckless endangerment. He is due back in court this month.